preacher, holiness preacher. Floyd County, Georgia, 1865. Wrote over a thousand hymns. But one particular hymn stands out to me. Hear the blessed Savior calling the oppressed. All oh, you heavy laden, come to me and rest. Come no longer tarry. I, your load will bear. Bring me every burden. Bring me every care. Come unto me. I'll give you rest. Take my yoke upon him, upon you and hear me and be blessed. I'm meek and lowly. Come and trust my might. Come, oh come. My yoke is easy and my burden is light. Let's bow our heads. Brother Derek, you come if you will. Come unto me, all ye that labor and heavy laden. I'll give you rest. While we stand our feet, Brother Derek's going to play. The invitation is very simple. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Folks are coming right now and they're praying. But if you're in loss, won't you slip out of your seat and come on? It will never get any easier than it is right now for you to walk the aisle and get saved. I'll tell you what you better do. That little religious thing that you got going on that ain't going to work you must be born again let me ask you something could I see the hands of those in the building that know for a fact don't look around it's between you and God you know for a fact that if you died right now you'd go to heaven You've been born again. You've been washed in the blood. Would you just put your hand up there? But if you're not saved, don't you do it. Don't you do it. Take them down. Jesus loves you. You know, it's my job to preach. Jesus said, come. You got a decision. Come to me. That's your direction. Don't die without Jesus and go to hell. Amen. Father, we love you. According to the testimony of those that raised their hand, everybody in the building say they're saved. I hope they are. I pray they are. But Lord, would you let grace and mercy and the Holy Ghost follow them around the rest of the day? Help them to realize they just need to come to Christ. Thank you, Lord, for the word. Thank you, Lord, for this time together. Lord, I pray, I pray that the word of God, the Holy Ghost, will take it and it'll have a lodging place in the heart, in the bosom of these young people, moms, dads, these couples, single people, everybody in the building. I pray to have a lodging place. I want to say thank you that I, ha that I had the invitation to come. I'm glad I made the right decision. Thank you for saving me. Use this message, not for my glory, but for yours. And I'll praise you and I'll thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Good day in the Lord. Amen. Appreciate you being here. Brother Rodney, this is Mrs. Word of Prayer. Hey, listen, don't forget Wednesday night, 7 o'clock. We're in the book of Matthew, chapter 6. We're going to be reading it. I ain't going to tell you what verses. That way you'll have to read the whole chapter. Amen. Matthew, chapter 6. Been a good study in the Sermon on the Mount. So try to be here on Wednesday night, 7 o'clock. All right? God bless you, Brother Rodney. You pray for us, this is Mrs. Word of Prayer.